everyone, it's Rumi here today and it's my turn to have a play with the freebie. Um, this was our Stackables freebie and I'll pop a link below to what Kerry made with this set. And I figured we'd just have a bit of a play together. I'm thinking of making a tag. I've got a kind of idea in my head about what I want to do. Um, but we'll have to give it a try and see if it works. So I've already gone ahead and cut out a whole set. And I need for this idea a blank piece of paper and some stuff to glue on. So grab this little paper stack. Alright, so first thing I want to do is get these square pieces. Now they're different sizes. Excuse me. And for this particular project I want to pick two that are the same size which look nice together so, I quite like those two I don't like those too many choices all right we're gonna go with these two to begin with <coughs> so first thing I'm going to do is cut the corrugated looking one in half ish not exactly half just there like that and I'm going to stick this one down on my paper giving myself a bit of room in case I, you know, want to get creative. <laughs> All right, so with this one, I'm now going to tear this in a sort of jiggity-jaggity, wonky kind of line, like that. And a little bit of inking along that torn edge. Okay. So my plan is this is going to go on either side, so that one will go up there and this one will come down here. But before I stick it down I want to think about do I want to poke anything in here that's coming out from this gap, uh, like these cute little mushrooms, how would they look if I kind of poke them in, do I want them completely overhanging, like this. Cat is exploring the kitchen. So we could do one under and one on top. That could work. Let's do that. Alright, so I know I want to put this top piece down first, so let's start with that. So like that and then this mushroom piece I kind of like the overhang it's kind of makes it more interesting so I think I'm going to go with that a bit like that then I'm going to put this piece on like that and pop this other mushroom on there as well. And then with this piece, I'm going to do another tear down the middle. Not quite as erratic as before, but same idea, a bit of inking. Okay, so this time these are going to be the top and the bottom. Before I glue those down, I'm going to figure out whether I want to put 
any other things on here. So, <clears throat> got some word bits and this watercolour strip and this little notebook edge. Some tickets. What else we got? Little bird. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these tickets and I'm going to put that like that so it hides the base of my mushroom and tucks under that bottom piece. So like that there and then this bit like that and before I pop that on the top this sort of colour I'm going to try my hardest to tear all the edges on this alright and I think that maybe can come out from under this perhaps like that Okay, so I might also pop a word or a number. Okay, so let's cut that out and then reassess whether we want to decorate it anymore. So, raw. Okay, I'm going to use this corner tool to do some tag corners. And then finally, a little bit of inking. Alright, so I really like this kind of look and uh, I've made a few others um, earlier. So I did this one with the same kind of layout and then I did this one. I did two slightly larger ones like this and I quite like how they've all come out. So I hope you have an experiment and make a few tags like this. Um, and because we've glued them on paper, the backs are all one solid piece. So they're great for journaling spots for your journal or if you want to glue them anywhere. You know, perfect. All right, thanks very much for joining me today. Quick one and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye. <music>